This is PEP number 389. This is in the Archie series from the Archie Comics Group. It sold for 60 cents. Um, it says, buy this book, take a look. Moose says, this book is Heise uh, Hiller, da, uh, it's a funny book. And this says, Marvelous Maureen says, this water gun's filled with the stinkiest cologne in the whole drugstore, so buy this book or else, as I warn you. And here Veronica says, gee, Archie, extraterrestrials could be on Earth right now to keep an eye on you and me. And Archie says, they'll have to get in line. Because Mr. and Mrs. Lodge are hiding behind the wall. And here is the back cover. Uh, lock and chase. Lock out the police and grab the gold before the police grab you. Mattel Electronics tele and Television. And I... Um, ordered this I think from somebody on eBay it's in a little bit of rough shape on the cover but that's all right uh, let's see we have June 1983 and there's an advertisement for Cracker Jacks so it's Scotty in a Cracker Jack story and the first story is Archie in the job holder well another day another scholar let's make tracks of the chocolate shop old buddy Sorry, Jug, no can do. I've got to be to work by 3.30. Work? Work as in labor, exertion, sweat and strain, tote that barge, lift that bale. Work as in stacking shelves at the supermarket. A truly noble ambition. You're one of the good guys. That's a spirit that made this country great. You don't have to envy me. I can get you a job too. Let's not get carried away. How long do you have to work and why? 3.30 to 6 during the week and 9 to 6 on Saturday. Wow, no more hard times for you, right? I bet you're going to have some wild and expensive Saturday nights. No way. I'm not doing this to become Playboy of the Month. Inflation's making things really tight for my folks. I figure... I'm big enough, strong enough, and smart enough to help out. Oh, kind of like playing your du paying your dues, huh? You might say that. I've got to admire my good buddy. He's got good instincts. Juggy, you're talking to yourself. Hey, did you know Arch has a job? Yes, I think it's commendable. I don't. It's a stupid idea. When will he have time for me? I can't hold every Saturday night open for him. How about Friday night? He'll probably be doing homework and be too tired anyway. Well, golly, Ron, you have to make some sacrifices, too. Never. Not me. Veronica Lodge makes no sacrifices. Others make sacrifices, not us Lodges. He's got some nerve taking himself out of circulation like that and for such a piddly little job. Daddy, I want you to come with me. Of course, dear. Where are we going? We're there. A supermarket? You're taking me here? Come, I want to show you something. I can't go in there. Why not? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, I've never been in one before. What? I've never heard anything so ridiculous in my life. A grown man who's never been into a supermarket. That's the way it is. All my life, I've had housekeepers who did chores like that. I wouldn't know how to act in one. I can't believe this. You don't have to act in any way. I just want to show you something. What would you want me to see in a market? That, Daddy. Archie, what are you doing? I'm stacking shelves, Mr. Lodge. What does that mean? Well, people buy the product and I replenish the supply. It's just a part-time job, but it helps out at home. I like that, son. Well, I don't. He won't have enough time for me. I want you to give him a better job, something with twice the money but half the work. Why not? That's no problem for me. I'm sorry, Mr. Lodge. I couldn't accept a job like that. Why not? It's not a job. It's charity. I'd lose respect. I'll respect you. I'll respect you. I wasn't worried about your respect, Veronica. I would lose respect for myself. Sorry, sir. I hope you understand. Indeed I do, and I assure you, you have my respect. Honestly, Daddy, you're as bad as he is. Thank you, dear. I consider that high praise. And there's Betty and Veronica in Male Tail. Look, Archie is hanging out with those new girls. Oof, there are plenty of fish in the ocean. I know, but are there any boys in there? And here's Big Moose's gag bag. Duh, Arch, now can we take our dates out to eat when we... How do we take our... Sorry, let's start again. Da, Arch, how can we take our dates out to eat when we ain't got enough bread? Don't worry, Moose, I'll take care of that. 
Archie, can't we each have our own sodas? But Ronnie, you used to think drinking one soda with two straws was romantic. Two stars, straws, yes, but four? And here's an order for Laugh Comics Digest number 47. And it's for $1, which includes shipping and handling. And here's Jughead with Archie Digest number 57 order form. And also $1. The next story is Marvelous. Let's see if I can read this. Maureen. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't read it. Marvelous Maureen ditches her guests. Once an average underachiever in junior high school, Marvelous Maureen is now lost in alien cosmos where bad guys, monsters, and robots run amok. But with Yankee ingenuity, spunk, luck, and a slew of strange allies, Maureen bravely hurdles through perilous adventures fighting for the American teenage way of life. In our last episode, the Grosnick spy had nefariously attacked Maureen from behind. You mean he attacked me on the behind. He then demanded that all the others on the ship give up immediately. Not to work. I only have you take and shot. If you think I'm going to surrender to you, you misproportion Pismire, you can just take that stinger and eat it. Me? Why don't you rescue her? I'll flip you. Hmm. Well, I must have gotten knocked out in the last story. I'll have you know my daddy's an important person and I'm a witch. Boss, hey boss, excuse me, my bat wants to tell me something. My buddy and I took a vote and we don't want to go with you. I don't care what you want, Bratz. There's nothing there, Cicely. There's nothing there. Hey, Jerko, while you were grabbing Captain Maureen, escaped. Did you do it? I was here with you. Arg, spread out. Find her and bring her to me. I'll find Maureen, but I'm not bringing her to that dumb bug. You're not finding her because I will. Every time one of those goofs saves me. I wind up in hotter water than before. I was selling dictionaries door to door when that Grosnick captured it and kept me here. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm just an extra. My room. And there's an auto room. Place trash here. Now what most of those people in the halls are so dumb they hand me over to Grosnick and let him capture us all. Besides, Mom gets upset if I don't tell her I'm bringing a friend for lunch. She'd really blow her top if I brought a whole shipload of aliens. No frills alien. So all I have to do now is empty out my ship and find a street map back to Earth. Look, isn't that her? She's coming that way. Things are much easier when you have a plan. Act like you don't notice her. Spies don't like to be noticed. Excuse me, could you gents help me? Help you? But we thought you were here to save us. More weirdos. Save you? Not Y-O-U. They're the Yearly Oddballs Union. We're the war-hating optimists. Who? Exactly. That's us. Not the United Slime, of course. Oh, I get it. You're just using initials. We noticed you were the only one in the city without a badge, so we knew you must be a spy or a heroine or a hippie. That's dumb. The Democratic Union of Married Beagles. Stop it. But what has the special, the systemized team of obese? A blob. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Blob. B-L-O-B. Bird Brain League of Boobs. Head for the hills. No, huh? Then a big lump of, big lump of blob. I warn you, this water gun's filled with the stinkiest cologne in the whole drugstore. Please, miss, I just want to talk to you. Then stop mumbling. Don't I know you? I'm Mr. Dubois, Clarissa's father. I heard that Clarissa had escaped, so I came looking for her. Your daughter and a killer bug and half the great city are on the space, on my space time. Sorry, great time you picked. Your daughter and a killer bug and half the city are on my spaceship right now. I mean, we're in trouble. I mean, we were in trouble. Hi-ho, 
Monsieur Dubois. Why is everyone staring? This will teach that ain't not to take a poke at my family. Mrs. Dubois' condition was suggested by David Reagan, New York, New York. If you have a sci-fi fashion machine or idea to use in an Emma an episode, send it to Marvelous Maureen, care of Archie Comics, 1116 First Avenue, New York, New York, 10021. The story of Marvelous Maureen continues next month in Laugh 378. And here's an advertisement for Bubble Yum. The next story is Archie in grade 8. Miss Grundy, you've got to reschedule Monday's algebra exam. According to my biorhythm chart, I won't, peak my, won't reach my peak until Thursday. I can't do that, Archie, but I'll do the next best thing. Good, that means you're going to move the exam to Wednesday so I can take advantage of my favorable horoscope forecast? No, Archie. I'm going to ask Dilton to help you study for your exam. I can't understand why I can't do better on exams, Dilton. Do you prepare for them? Of course I prepare for them. You wouldn't believe the hours I spent working up this biorhythm chart. Let's go into your house and look at your study area. See, I even burned the midnight oil working up my astrological chart. Archie, all these charts aren't going to help you. Yeah, I guess you're right. What I really need is my lucky pen. I haven't done too well since I've lost it. Archie, if you want good grades, you have to study. Study? Ha ha, you're putting me on. Everyone knows they need a gimmick to get good grades. You're right, Archie. Everyone needs a gimmick. Come over to my place and I'll give you an intelligence potion. Intelligence potion? This potion is designed to make your brain cells more receptive to knowledge. Now you're talking. Dilton, what are you doing with that soda? Shh, I'm making fake intelligence potion, Mom. What in heaven's name for? It's a long story, but it's for a good cause. Here you are, pal. Just take some before you study. Wow. Hey, <laughs> so this has been your secret all along. Without it, I'd be no smarter than Moose. Well, Dilton is right. I can actually feel my brain absorbing facts like a sponge. Dilton, I got an A in algebra and I owe it all to your wonderful potion. I've got a confession to make. That potion I gave you was plain soda. You're kidding. You got that A on your own because you buried your nose in your book. How about that? Cleaning up your room, Arch? Sort of. I'm throwing away a lot of worthless stuff that I thought could help me, could help my marks. I now have the surefire gimmick for getting good grades. You have? What's it called? Studying. And here is Archie Club News and an order form to become an Archie Club member. And Archie and the gang punk fashions. And here's the order form for Archie's Double Digest quarterly. And close find eight dollars for my Double Digest magazine subscription. I'll receive the four magazines plus one magazine free. Or in close find two dollars for two dollars for Double Digest number seven. Here is Sabrina and Zap Scrap. There's an emergency meeting of all senior witches. Sarah here would like you to go to look after her little Esmeralda while we're gone. But Aunt Hilda, tonight is talent night at the school. I've had my heart set on entering. So take Esmeralda with you. She'll behave. She's a very proper child. Proper child, my foot. She makes Genghis Khan look like an innocent babe. Look, Esmeralda, I want no nonsense from you tonight, got it? Sabrina, the harsh tone of your voice gives, grieves me deeply. I swear on my Aunt Sarah's best cauldron, I shall behave. Let's give a round of applause to our next contestant, Sabrina. She'll sing and play a melody of love songs for us. He, his kisses set me aflame. So let's put out the fire. Zap. Splash. And a bucket of water. Oh, wait. Pitcher of water goes on Sabrina's head. Oh, that Esmeralda, I could only, if I could only see her, I'd hex her, but good. I won't give her the satisfaction of seeing me quit. Your love is turning me upside down. Hey, hey, I think a little upside down spell is in order. Zap. I wonder how she's doing that trick. It's probably done with wires. I don't expect anything like that. I didn't expect anything like that in your act. Neither did I. Just wait till I get my hands on you, Esmeralda. I feel oh so broken hearted. Crack. 
Ha 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 ha. She made me a laughing stock out of me. I've got you, you little demon. We don't know how you did it, Sabrina, but it's the best comedy magic act we've ever seen. You win the first prize. Here's a check for $50 and a box of candy. See, without me, you wouldn't have won. You're right, Esmeralda. I don't know whether to give you a good thrashing or the box of candy. But seeing you rightfully deserve both. I like these creamy centers. Ow, these caramels are delish. Ouch. Whack, whack. And here's the advertisement for Tron. The, the awesome MCP is taking over another computer, only this time it's your Atari 2600. Only you can stop him. Video games from Mattel Electronics. Thanks for watching.